algebraic identities how to remember the algebraic identities how to write the algebraic identities in an easy way and also we can see some problems related to algebraic identities in this video so let's start to remember the algebraic identities use pascal triangle and the pascal triangle is like this one in the first row the second row followed by this and in the third row it's one at the corners and here the middle number will be the sum of these two 1 plus 1 which is 2 then the next row will be 1 in the corners then 1 plus 2 it's 3 2 plus 1 it's 3 then 1 in the corners 3 plus 1 4 3 plus 3 6 3 plus 1 4 like this you can proceed yes. next how to write the algebraic identities with the help of Pascal's triangle? So to write the algebraic identities, see if take the first row as a plus b or 0. Anything power 0 is 1. And next as a plus b power 1. Then a plus b power 2. The next will be a plus b power 3 and the next row belongs to a plus b power 4 so now let's expand this identity a plus b the whole square is equal to what so for that use this third row which belongs to the first one is 1 so 1 plus the second 2 and the third term has this one. So I just wrote this one, two and this one. To expand this identity a plus b the whole square. And always the left term, the left term starts with the variable a and the right term starts with the variable b. These are the two variables involved a and b. So your left term starts with the variable a and the right term starts with the variable b and the degree, the power of the variable will be the highest power of what you are expanding. That is a plus b the whole square. So this 2 will come here in the left side. That is a power 2 and also right side b. b. The power of b will be 2. So it is 1a square which is nothing but a square. And 1b square means it's b square. Yes. Now in the middle it's 2. We have to fill a and b. The variable a and b here. For that write a and the power of a the power of a will be 1 less than the previous term the previous term is 2 the power of a is 2 here it will be 2 minus 1 so it's 1 see the previous term it's a power 2 means the next term will be minus 1 this power minus 1 so it is 1 and here b for b to take the b power you have to see from the right side because always the variable b starts from the right side so here from uh, to the right of this term b in that b power is 2 means here it will be 2 power minus 1 so it is 1 so now we have got the expansion of this identity that is a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square that's it now, what is A plus B? Now, what is A plus B? The whole square we got it. That is A square plus 2AB plus B square. What is A minus B the whole square? A minus B the whole square is equal to. Same, we have to write this one as A square. And the next term will be with the 2. And you know the variable that is A will be with 2 minus 1. So, A. And... Uh, here the right side will be b square and this will be b power 2 minus 1 so b. And now to write the sign here if it is minus always see if, if it is minus here. There are three terms right in this three terms are there in the expansion as three terms. So the first term will be positive and the next term will be negative. So positive and negative alternates. In this expansion, if it is negative here, 
then in the expansion the positive and the negative alternate it will come in an alternate way so here first term positive the next term will be negative next term positive so that's it so a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square this is the next identity yes now what is this one a plus b the whole cube a plus b the whole cube is equal to for writing that start with this no that is here one it means that a left side starts from the variable a and the highest power is this three next so how many terms in this one two three four there are four numbers right it means that this expansion has four terms in it so first term starts with a cube that is for 1, 1, then a cube. The next one is 3. And the next term is 3. And the next term is 1. Okay. And the left term starts with a. And the highest power cube. The right side starts with b. And the highest term power is 3. 1b cube or bb cube we can write it. Next. You have to fill a and b in these two terms. For that write here. If this is a cube, the next will be a power a square. That is minus 1. And the next will be a. Cube 2, then 1. Okay, 3, 2, 1. It reduces when you move on to the right side. The power of a reduces when you move on to the right side. And the power of b reduces when you move from right to the left. So here if it is 3, the next will be 2. And the next will be 1. That's all. So a plus b the whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab the square plus b cube. That's it. We have expanded this identity. Now what is a minus b the whole cube? What is a minus b the whole cube? So for that first term this one we will take this one the same one. So th that is the same. What is that? You know this one right? Let it, let's write the same a cube and the sign we will do it later. Write the terms only. 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. 3a square b, 3ab square and b cube. The 4 terms you can write it but the sign is different. See if it is negative here then in this start with the positive. The first term, second term, third term, fourth term. First term positive sign. Second term will be negative, third term positive, fourth term negative. So positive, negative, positive, negative, it alternates if it is minus here. Yes, that's it. So now, yeah, what is a plus b the power 4? So a plus b power 4 is equal to, like a whole 4 is equal to the first term. It starts with 1. And the left side starts with the a, right? 1a. Or you can write a. And the highest power is of a is this one, 4. Plus. How many terms in this expansion? a power, a plus b the power 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms. First term with the coefficient 1. And that's why it is a power 4. Second term, 4. Six, third term, 6. Fourth term, 4. And the fifth term it's 1. Instead of writing 1, you can write as the right side starts with the variable b. 1b and the power is 4. Or you can write b power 4. Yes. Now, we have to fill a, b in these middle terms. Let's fill it. Here it's a power 4 means next term will be a power 3. And the next will be a power square. Next term will be a. So 4, 3, 2, 1. Can you see the it is minus 1, minus 1, minus 1. A reduces. The power of A reduces when you move on to the right side. And now the power of B. The variable B with its power. Here if it is 4, from the right side when you move on to the left it reduces. So if you are 4, here it will be 3. Then next will be 2. And here it will be 1. Or you can write simply B. So, a plus b the whole power 4 is equal to a power 4 plus 4a cube b plus 6a square b square plus 4ab cube plus b power 4. 
So with the help of the Pascal triangle, you can expand the algebraic identities. So this is an easy trick to remember the algebraic identities. How to remember what is a plus b the whole square, a minus b the whole square, and a plus b the whole cube and a minus b the whole cube. If it is plus, all the sign will be plus. If it is negative, first term positive, second term negative, then positive, then negative. Positive and negative alternates. Now, let's see all the identities involved in the chapter polynomials. Identity 1, a plus b the whole square. Next identity, a minus b the whole square. Next, a plus b the whole cube. Next, a minus b the whole cube. Next, a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square. a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b multiplied with a square plus ab plus b square. Next identity a square minus b square is a plus b multiplied with a minus b. x plus a multiplied with x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b multiplied with x plus ab. x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx.